Have you been considering purchasing your very first drone? Well, if so, this is a video you're not going to want to miss out on, so make sure you watch it the entire way through, because on today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, I'm discussing my top five picks for the best GPS drones for beginners in the year 2024. What's up? It's Chris the Drone Geek and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots now worldwide. Make sure you check out their YouTube channel. Get subscribed over there. Lots of great content, including some content that's made and shot by yours truly. Check them out online at thedroningcompany.com and consider signing up as well. The Droning Company is adding a lot of new offerings in the very near future. And if you're a commercial remote pilot with your Part 107, this is going to be a membership that will be worth something in the very near future, worth something very, very big. So make sure you get them checked out. The Droning Company the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots now worldwide. Okay, so if you've made it this far in the video, then I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you have been actively thinking about purchasing a drone. You just might not know which one is best for you, a beginner. Let me just say this, it's a really exciting time to get involved in the drone industry. And even though that might seem like a little bit of an overstatement, you're just looking to do something to pass the time, have a new hobby, Purchasing a drone means that you're a part of the industry because we've got hobbyists, we've got commercial pilots, we've got enterprise pilots, we've got all sorts of drone pilots and drone enthusiasts in this industry. So the fact that you're going to be purchasing or are thinking about purchasing a drone means that you are joining the industry. So welcome to the drone industry. It's a very exciting time. We're moving fast. There's a lot of developments. It's ever changing and it's a lot of fun if you know how to handle it. But before we put the cart before the horse, let's talk about the question that you have right now and what led you to this video. Which drone should you buy? I've got five recommendations for the best GPS drones on the market for beginners in the year 2024. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it with first our honorable mention. Our honorable mention for the best GPS drones for beginners in 2024 is the Autel Evo Nano Plus. This year, we're adding an honorable mention for the sake of variety on this list because everything after this is all from one company. Last year, the Autel Evo Nano Plus earned the number three spot on our list of best GPS drones for beginners, but this year, we're saying goodbye to it. The drone is not gone anywhere from a retail standpoint. You can still get these fairly easily, but it has become woefully obsolete in its category and is no longer able to throw punches with the competition. However, just because it is obsolete does not mean it's not worth looking at as a viable option for a beginner. If you are looking to start flying drones in 2024 and want a reliable drone with plenty of beginner-friendly features that isn't from DJI, the Nano Plus is a great option. Its sensor size is slightly larger than a half inch and is capable of shooting 4K at 30 frames per second. It can also shoot both JPEG and DNG RAW photos, and it also has a maximum flight time of 28 minutes. And speaking of maxes, it's capable of a maximum flight range of 10 kilometers or roughly 6.2 miles and has bi-directional obstacle avoidance to assist new pilots in navigating treacherous airspace. By all accounts, this is a drone that is still worthy of consideration if you believe you will only ever fly for hobby and you do not want to purchase products from DJI. That said, What's holding this drone back from still being in the list this year largely has to do with its return on investment. The drone itself, its standard bundle, is $679. Now, that's not the highest priced item that we have on this list. So after saying that, you might be thinking, well, why would that hold it back? The fact is, this is obsolete tech. And the fact that you're paying almost $700 for it is a little bit too salty when you compare it to other options on this list. It's outdated, it's falling behind every other drone in its category, and quite frankly, it's not going to stack up against the latest drones in its category, not even close. So spending $700 on something that is obsolete now and will only continue to get more stale as time goes on it just doesn't make a ton of sense for a beginner, especially if you're thinking about going from a hobbyist to a professional drone pilot somewhere down the road. I would stay away from this drone if that's the case, but if you are just looking to fly for fun and that's all you'll ever do, the Antel Evo Nano Plus, it's a pretty good drone. Just be ready to shell out about 700 bucks for it. Coming in at number five on our list of the best GPS beginner drones in 2024 is the DJI Mini 4K. This drone is designed and built specifically with beginners and hobbyists in mind. And when you break down the hardware and its capabilities, it becomes immediately clear it strikes a great balance between performance and price on the low end of our beginner drone scale. The DJI Mini 4K features the same sensor found on the DJI Mini 2, a 1 over 
over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor capable of shooting 12 megapixel photos and video in 4K at 30 frames per second. It has a maximum operating range of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles and a maximum flight time of 31 minutes. The DJI Mini 4K also features downward obstacle avoidance which assists pilots in landing the drone safely and smoothly. The best part? You get all of this performance for the ultra low cost of $299.99. That is an absolute steal on all accounts. And while that's all fine and dandy, let's be honest here. When you look at this on paper, the DJI Mini 4K, it's just the DJI Mini 2 repackaged. There are some slight differences and variations between the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI 4K, but by and large, this is the same drone. They're just trying to sell old stock, I think. They're just trying to make room in their stock houses and their warehouses, and this is the best way they can think of it. Now, what's nice about this, again, is if we look at the price, $300 for a drone that shoots 4K video at 30 frames per second, that's pretty darn good. Not to mention the DJI series of drones are just, they're the best. There's nobody that's doing it better than DJI, especially in the consumer and prosumer space. And the fact that this is where these drones fall means that you can purchase a DJI product and feel really good about it. The DJI Mini 4K is no exception. If you're looking for something to fly for fun and only fun, I guess you could shoot with this professionally, but it lacks a lot of features and a lot of flexibility in its shooting that would make it easier to transition into a pro career. But if you did want to do it, I suppose you can make it work. Largely though, if you're just looking to fly for fun and for hobby, the DJI Mini 4K is going to fit that need and it's going to do it at a really great price. $300, there is no arguing that that is a great investment on a drone that should last you a good long while as long as you're flying safely. Coming in at number four on our list, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This drone is a fan favorite among hobbyists and even entry-level professionals that need a quick and portable aerial imaging platform. It offers a high performance experience and since the release of its successor, the Mini 4 Pro, it does it at an extremely reasonable price. Touting a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor capable of shooting up to 48 megapixel photos and video in 4K at 60 frames per second, this drone is a dream when it comes to aerial multimedia shooting. Plus, it has the ability to turn its camera 90 degrees to allow for true vertical or portrait shooting, perfect for social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok. The Mini 3 Pro touts a 38 minute or 51 minute maximum flight time depending upon the battery you would find yourself using, either the standard battery or the plus battery. This version of DJI's Mini Drone can also fly up to 12 kilometers or 7.4 miles and has a tri-directional obstacle avoidance system, giving beginners peace of mind while flying with near 360 degree obstacle avoidance around the drone. Where the DJI Mini 3 Pro really excels in this conversation is its balance of price and performance. As of the writing of this article, the base package included with the DJI Mini 3 Pro retails for $419 US dollars. That's great value for fantastic technology. That said, the Mini 3 Pro only takes the number four spot on this list because it is aging rapidly in the grand scheme of things. When you think about it, since the release of the Mini 3 Pro, we've seen two other drones released that are considered upgrades to this drone in its category, or at least partially in its category. And there are rumors there's gonna be another one by the end of this month, maybe the beginning of next month, that will also be partially in the category of the Mini 3 Pro. It is still an uber capable drone and I'm not throwing any hate or shade towards it by putting it at the number four spot. I'm just calling it like I see it. The Mini 3 Pro is a great drone and it's a perfect drone for beginners, but it is aging and eventually it will be obsolete. And I think that day will come quicker than a lot of people like to admit. So keep that in mind when you're going to purchase the Mini 3 Pro, it may not be in the conversation for best beginner drone much longer. Coming in at number three on our list of best GPS drones for beginners is the DJI Air 3. Last year's list did not feature any drones larger than the mini series from DJI. That changes in 2024. This drone is significantly larger than the mini and Evo Nano drones and offers some upgraded specs that could be beneficial to beginners, especially those looking to move from flying for fun to flying professionally someday. The DJI Air 3 features two sensors capable of different types of shooting. Both sensors are one over 1.3 inches and feature stacked sensor technology, which lends itself to more efficient camera performance and higher quality imagery that can be found in larger standard sensors. The cameras can shoot 12 megapixels or 48 megapixels via in-body bare processing functions and can shoot video in 4K at 60 frames per second or 100 frames per second in slow motion mode. Where the differences between the sensors come in is their field
field of view and focal length equivalents. The main wide-angle sensor has an equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters, allowing for sweeping landscape shots filled with color and grandiosity. Meanwhile, the secondary telephoto sensor has an equivalent focal length of 70 millimeters, creating engaging depth of field and bringing new levels of detail to each aerial shot. Additionally, the Air 3 is capable of staying airborne for 46 minutes and offers an unmatched range of operation with DJI's OcuSync 4, giving it a maximum range of 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles. On top of that, it has omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, which provides full 360 degree coverage around the drone. While the Air 3 is an absolute showstopper on this list when it comes to performance specs, the fact is it's significantly more expensive than every other entry on this list and every other drone in a mini category by a wide margin. There's only one other entry on this list that's more expensive than the Air 3S and we'll get to that here in just a few moments. At $879 as of the recording of this video, it is the second most expensive drone on the list. So you got to keep that in mind when you're going to purchase this. If you're a beginner, you do have options like DJI Care Refresh, which allow you to get a new replacement for the drone in case something happens while you're flying it, it breaks, whatever the case may be. But if you don't get the Care Refresh, you're out almost $900. So keep that in mind when you're going to purchase this. Every other vertical for this list, any, any other specs, the Air 3 is going to perform better than just about every other drone on the list. So there's really just the question of price. What can you afford and what makes sense for your budget as a beginner, somebody just getting into the hobby? You may also want to consider you might not end up liking flying drones. It's weird for me to say out loud, but there is a chance that maybe it's just not for you. Do you really want to invest $900 into a drone? I would think not. Now, this $879 is for the Air 3 standard package, and it's actually down in price due to some speculation about a potential release of a successor to the Air series. And speaking of which, coming in at number two on our list of best GPS drones for beginners in 2024 is the DJI Air 3S. Yes, I know some of you hated when I included the Mini 4 Pro in last year's list, despite the fact it had not yet been released. But I ended up being right on almost everything about the Mini 4 Pro, so really I did you a favor by recommending it prematurely. I'm going to do you another premature favor again this year. Wait, wait, that sounded wrong. The Air 3S will likely see a larger sensor than its predecessor, going from a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor to a 1 inch CMOS sensor for the main wide angle camera. It will likely still feature a telephoto camera with a 70 millimeter equivalent focal length, but look for this to stay at a 1 over 1.3 inch size. It will be capable of shooting 12 megapixel and 48 megapixel photos like its predecessor, and will also feature stack sensor technology to enhance photo and video quality. What the Air 3S will see upgraded from the Air 3 is its maximum video resolution. Much like the Mavic Air 2 to the Air 2S, we will see an increase from 4K maximum video resolution to 5.4K. The increased video resolution will likely be capped at 30 frames per second, but will give creators a flexible option for even more detail and sharpness in their video shooting. While I'm not certain, I do think the Air 3S will have the ability to shoot in D-Log, upgraded from the Air 3, which was capable of shooting in D-Log M. This ability to shoot with a one-inch sensor in true D-Log will future-proof this drone for a beginner, meaning you can depend dependably use it professionally if you decide to turn your hobby into a career. I would not look to see the maximum range change in this updated version of the Air as OcuSync 4 is still extremely new, so maximum range will still be at just, and I say that sarcastically, just 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles. We will also more than likely see a decrease in total flight time from 46 minutes with the Air 3 to 44 minutes with the Air 3S. This decrease was seen when transitioning from the Mavic Air 2 to the Air 2S as they utilize the same batteries. The same will likely be true with the Air 3 and the Air 3S. Where this drone falls noticeably short compared to every other drone on this list has to do with its pricing. And I guess the fact that it doesn't actually exist yet officially for consumers anyway. But when you consider the previous releases of the Air drones and drones similar to the specs that we're going to see on the Air 3S, you can safely assume that the starting price for this drone, brand new, is going to be between $1,300 and $1,500 US dollars. That is nothing to cough at. That's a lot of money. So when you're thinking about buying your very first drone, if you have $1,300 to $1,500 burning a hole in your pocket, 
hey, I say go for it. It's going to be a great experience. It's going to be a great drone that offers you a lot of cool features that are perfect for a beginner. And it's also going to future proof you in that you'll be able to use that drone as you move from a hobbyist to a professional shooter. But if you have a limited budget or you're just looking to fly for fun, the Air 3S probably is not the drone for you. But there is one more drone left on our list, and it is the best GPS drone for beginners in 2024 as per the Drone Geek. That drone is the DJI Mini 4 Pro. At the top spot in our list of the best GPS drones for beginners for the second year in a row is the king of the castle, the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I put this opinion out there for as much scrutiny as anyone can muster to throw at me. I will die on this hill. The Mini 4 Pro is the best GPS drone for beginners, hands down. It gives us all of the best of everything included in this list and maybe even a little bit more at an affordable price, all things considered. The Mini 4 Pro features a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS stacked sensor capable of shooting 12 megapixel photos natively and 48 megapixel photos via the bare processing feature. It shoots a maximum video resolution of 4K at 60 frames per second and is capable of shooting in D log M for extreme flexibility in post production and editing. It also shoots photos in both JPEG and DNG RAW formats for the ease of hobbyist photographers and the flexibility of professional photographers alike. On top of all of that, the DJI Mini 4 Pro can stay in the air between 30 34 and 45 minutes depending upon which battery you are utilizing, either standard or plus, and has a maximum range of 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles via DJI's OcuSync 4 transmission system. Not to mention the extremely user-friendly obstacle avoidance system with 360 degree omnidirectional coverage providing supreme awareness in flight for beginners and intermediate pilots. And if all of that weren't enough for you, the pricing on this drone is fantastic. As of the recording of this video, you can purchase the DJI Mini 4 Pro for just $759. That's the base, the standard bundle with a battery, a drone, and a controller. For the base drone, $759, and you get the best of the best in this category. I promise you that. Now, I'm not going to pretend that $759 is cheap. In a general sense, it's not cheap at all. But if you're thinking about getting into drones, and this is something that you really want to pursue, then $759 is not bad for what you get out of the Mini 4 Pro. We just went over all those specs, so I'm not going to go over them again, but just think about it. You get all of that performance for under $800, that is a steal. Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this drone. It is a fantastic drone from top to bottom, and it's definitely worth looking into. Again, I will die on this hill. The DJI Mini 4 Pro is the best drone for beginners, best GPS drone for beginners in 2024. What do you think though? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon down below. Helps me out a lot. Helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really like this video and you love drone content, shot by drones, about drones and for drone pilots my friend this is the channel for you make sure you get subscribed if you haven't already and while you're at it hit the bell icon you'll get a notification every time i post a new video until next time i'm chris the drone geek and i am out of here see ya yo yo what you say steady screaming y'all rock